account, which are Wednesday, July 29th, edition of News in Depth. Thank you for joining us. We begin tonight's newscast by telling you that private criminal charge filed against GCOM chairman alleging misconduct. Here is that story. Two Guyanese citizens have instituted private criminal charges against the chairman of the Guyanese Elections Commission, Justice Claudette Singh. The charges were filed by attorneys for Unita Walcott of Victoria Village East Coast Damarara and Keith Odan of Central Amelius Ward Mackenzie Linden in the Georgia Magistrates Court this morning. The charges include misconduct in public office to common law. Odan is alleging that between March 16th and May 18th, the Chairman of the Ghana Elections Commission acted recklessly and unlawfully when she disregarded the advice of the Legal Office of the Ghana Elections Commission and the Chief Parliamentary Council, which indicated that the recount of the votes of the March 2nd general and regional elections was unlawful. According to Attorney Law James Bond, this is not a light issue, and it was done with a heavy heart on his own part. Given the, the respect and adoration I have for Justice Singh. And so, however, I think the citizens, as an attorney, you can't um, pick and choose who asks for help. You know, you can't pick and choose who asks for help. I would not be doing the matter. I think Mr. Edwards will be doing the matter. Um, but um, I think that we, we, we deserve some, some outcome. I think Guyanese deserve some outcome where they feel that they, they, they have been aggrieved. Um, so that's Bond said Justice Singh will be served during the course of the day and the matters are set for the 5th of August. Yeah, it's not a light task. It's not something that I, I think um, we should uh, celebrate holding public officials to account in this manner. It is not something that I take lightly. It's not something I wish that it didn't have to be this way. But these citizens felt that they had to take some action as they were, they were not getting the kind of satisfaction they, they, they desired they did, and they, they, they longed for during this whole electoral process. Um, like, like any Guyanese, I wish this all would end and I urge persons to be patient as we wind down um, the elections of March 2nd. We could only advocate in this manner. I know there are options available, but I know any right-thinking Guyanese will be happy that the citizens are taking their matters before the court and not elsewhere. You would recall earlier that private criminal charges were filed against the CEO, Keith Lowenfield. Wouldn't it be nice if we didn't have so much waste to dispose of in the landfill? Well, composting can help us reduce the waste we dispose of by turning our organic waste into compost, which can be used to improve the quality of our soil. Composting is very simple and convenient. You can compost using organic waste such as vegetable skins. Or fallen leaves and cut grass and put this in a composting bin or pile. Compost can help your garden grow healthy plants while reducing your volume of waste. It's a really good way to keep our communities clean and healthy. So, let's all start composting our waste. Find out how easy it is. Call us on 226-2189 or 227-8429 or visit our website, moc.gov.gy. A message from the Ministry of Communities in collaboration with the Inter-American Development Bank. This is to make her with a message from my people. We don't know when COVID 90 will go. So for now, better stay at home. Oh, we don't know. So let we try and cope. Sanitize our use of soap. Oh, I won't stop. And don't you stop. Responsibility is what you've got to self preserve the health you've got. Good hygiene, we need to all adapt. I won't stop, don't you stop. Stay away from crowds because it's way too pop. We all should stay three feet away, and in time we make this fire stop. This is a message from Tamika Marshall and the Ministry of Public Health in collaboration with PAHO WHO. Shh. 
all-in-one weapon for perfecting imperfections and capturing flawless skin. A lot of brands forget women of color or just don't understand that we come in all shades. From caramel to ebony, there's such a range. Iman Cosmetics is for every woman and features a line of skincare products and cosmetics including 16 foundation shades, powder, concealer, lipstick, blush, eyeshadow, highlighter and BB cream. Visit us at Lot 75 Swamp Section, Rosal Town. That's behind the market. Or call 337-4422 or 688-9249. Shh. Businesses under quarantine continue to feel the effects of COVID-19. More in this report. As COVID-19 cases continue to rise, the situation is severely affecting businesses across the country. In Barbies, it is no different as business owners struggle to keep their doors open. As such, we took our cameras to the streets of the usually busy Rosal Tong shopping area. This is the new norm of what was once a thriving and commercial hub under quarantine. Business owners lamented about the negative and devastating effects the coronavirus is having on their business. Many businesses have been forced to decrease their hours of operation and staff complement. I think the loss of job has been the most challenging um, factor where business is concerned. And I'm um, saying that is that you could have seen that there is a downward trend of business since it started, since COVID started. And I guess I'm uh, assuming that is because, I mean, a lot of businesses has been closed, non-essential business being closed. So we find that people are not getting employment. A lot of staff has been, a lot of business cut back on their staff um, due to restriction in traveling. I guess people are not coming out as much as they could. Um, so this is one of the major challenges. I, I think there is the, the economy, there has been a downturn in the economy, so there's not enough cash flow. There's a lot of challenges because we're getting the sales that we're supposed to get, we got to close off between certain hours and we get bills to pay and we ain't getting help in no way. It's been three months and more, we actually home and doing no business and then you have kids take care so it's actually been bad for three months and change and we are actually open just two weeks now and customers still afraid to come out because of, of the corona so we try sometimes we sell them for hours out here we not sell really sell nothing 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 so the few dollars we had we have spent it back on bills and cost of living and through it all i still have different initiatives where it has helped people some way or the other but we hope and trust god that things get back better and we can be able to save back on two dollar okay. it's rough 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 yes right now um i have i have only two staff and i'm only working half day in that whole day Even though most businesses are operating at less than half capacity, they continue to take the necessary measures to protect themselves, their customers, and staff by following the national COVID-19 guidelines. Melissa Khan, News in Depth. We can reduce the risk of contracting viruses by strengthening our immune system. And one way of doing this is by eating as healthily as possible to support optimal immune function. Micronutrients essential to fight infection include vitamins A, B, C, D, and E, and the minerals iron, selenium, and zinc. Here's what we need to know about the foods we can eat to get them. Vitamin A is found in fish, egg yolks, cheese, nuts, seeds, whole grains, and beans. Vitamin B9 folate is abundant in green leafy vegetables, beans, nuts, and seeds, and it's also added to a lot of the flour that we use in Guyana. Vitamin B12 is found in animal products, including eggs, meat, and dairy, and also in some fortified milk. 
Vitamin C and vitamin E helps to protect our body when we're fighting an infection. Good sources of vitamin C include oranges, lemons, limes, tomatoes, and cherries. In Guyana, one of our cherry has the amount of vitamin C needed for the entire day for a person. Vitamin E is found in nuts, green leafy vegetables, and vegetable oils. Although sun exposure allows the body to produce vitamin D, food sources including eggs, fish, and some milk and margarine brands may be fortified with vitamin D. Meaning, some extra has been added. Most people need just a few minutes outdoors most days to get enough of the vitamin D needed. And beyond diet, there are other measures you can take to stay as healthy as possible. No smoking, reduce the intake of alcohol or none at all, exercise every day and sleep and rest well. And please remember to reduce your intake of sweetened and carbonated beverages and drink lots and lots of water. This is what shopping used to be. More plastic bags than I could carry or I could use. They always end up in the bin or as unsightly litter. Then it hit me. Get just one reusable bag. Now whenever I shop, I don't use plastic bags. I always have my reusable bag. It makes shopping a lot easier and it's better for the environment. Use one less disposable plastic bag. Make the switch to a reusable bag today. For more information, please call us on 226-2189 or 227-8429 or visit our website, moc.gov.gy. A message from the Ministry of Communities in collaboration with the Inter-American Development Bank. A woman is now in police custody after she was caught by a prison officer attempting to smuggle marijuana in tennis rolls into the New Amsterdam prison. According to a release from the Guyana Prison Service, the incident occurred around 12 noon today. The prison's release added that the police have since been called in to probe the matter. The suspect has been identified as 29-year-old Hemwati Charando, also known as Hemwati Siposod of Dispensary Dam, Ankerville, Portmoran, Quarantine Babies. According to the release, at the time the suspect was caught, she had brought self-support items for a relative, Bilal McKinnon, who is currently on remand at the New Amsterdam prison for murder. During the search of the items at the self-support office, Principal Officer 2 and Ains unearthed from a number of tennis rolls some small transparent plastic bags which contain the prohibited items. The plastic bags with the prohibited items were removed and weighed. The items amounted to 11 grams. The suspect is in police custody. And that has brought us to the end of our news for tonight. For these and other stories, visit our website at rdproductiongy.com or our Facebook and Instagram page at Royston Tricks Production.